Hi, my name is Christina Preiser and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the University Hospital in Tübingen at the Institute of Occupational and Social Medicine and Health Services Research. My co-authors and me, we just recently published uh, the paper The Doctors, the Patients and the Symptom Checker app, a qualitative interview study with general practitioners in Germany in JAMA Human Factors. So, uh, symptom checker apps are um, technologies that are designed for laypersons for them to enter their symptoms um, and to receive um, a first sense of urgency, um, uh, potential cause for action and also uh, first ideas for potential diagnosis. And from the perspective of occupational health, we were uh, very interested in the question of how those technologies um, impact the daily work of uh, general practitioners, because GPs are usually the first contact for patients in a German healthcare system. We looked, for example, at um, work-related um, demands and resources, job satisfaction, and the professional identity of GPs. Uh, in order to understand this, um, we conducted in-depth interviews with eight um, GPs across um, Germany. And what was interesting for us to see especially was that actually only one of the GPs had ever heard of symptom checker apps, even though we had a sample of GPs that were quite open to digital technologies and actually made use of them quite um, prominently in their um, daily work. Uh, so that by itself was already um, a striking um, result for us. And um, what the, the GPs were telling us was mirroring as such rather expectations than lived experiences. Um, here they saw the symptom checker um, apps rather in the unorganized stage of uh, patient searches. So when the patients are still at home and are reflecting on their condition, um, but once the patients entered the consultation room, they saw um, the main focus on um, not so much on the question of where the patients got the information from, but more on the shared process of exploration to um, understand the condition of the patients. They um, saw the symptom checker apps um, rather um, yeah, as a technology um, that is not um, able of um, giving out proper diagnosis because they considered the process of um, finding a diagnosis as a complex um, and um, flexible process that is more complex than um, collecting symptoms. So they rather saw it as a, an art of sense-making um, and uh, the sense making is something that they did not ascribe um, to a technology, no matter how good and how big the data sets are. So um, all in all, what was the very interesting and important for us was to um, find out that um, in, Ger in a German context, symptom checker apps seem to still be um, a proximate future um, as uh, something that is promised um, to solve um, pressing um, problems um, of the present, um, a promise that is usually um, given by tech companies and other stakeholders that are um, developing this kind of technologies but are not actually implementing or working with them. Um, this was uh, interesting to see because the current discourse on um, symptom checker apps um, in the literature but also in the public discourse um, is um, dominated either by um, very techno-utopian um, discourses uh, and visions or techno-dystopian um, visions, but uh, the GPs in Germany displayed a very refreshing um, perspective of um, techno-pragmatism in this context. So we were aiming for Jemmeyer for publication because this is where a lot of the discourse on symptom check apps is happening and we wanted to be part of the discourse and um, to provide some empirical results um, from our study.